Okay, I understand that this movie is basically Taken 5, but to be completely honest, I have not seen any of the Taken movies. This is actually the first movie I've seen of Liam Neeson being a badass like this. Forgive me for being kind of a noob. Run All Night. So Run All Night is an action movie starring Liam Neeson. It's the third one directed by Jean Colette Serra after Unknown and Nonstop. It's about a dude who was a big criminal back in the 90s but he isn't anymore. He wants to reconnect with his son who wants nothing to do with him. And Ed Harris plays Liam Neeson's former boss and best friend. But his son is trying to kill Liam Neeson's son so Liam Neeson ends up shooting Ed Harris' son. So when he breaks the news to Ed Harris he says, okay screw our friendship, I am coming after you with everything I've got. So now Liam Neeson and his son have to survive one night in New York City on the run from police and Ed Harris and his goons. And we got father-son bonding along the way and that's our movie. And I have to say, I liked it a lot more than I thought I would. First of all, like I said before, I am kind of a noob, but this just in. Liam Neeson is a straight up badass. If you just put a gun to his face without a second's notice, he will take that gun, sock you in the face, you will be on the ground and he will have you at gunpoint. And then he'll shoot your ass because he's fucking Liam Neeson. And of course, that's the reason you care about him in this movie. The other characters took a little while to actually start caring about. I didn't really start caring about them until about halfway through because you're not really sure who's going to make it through this movie alive. I will say though that I thought Ed Harris was pretty cool. I saw his face and I was immediately like, I know him from something. So I IMDb'd it and oddly enough, nothing on his filmography list seemed familiar to me, but I swear I know that face. Nevertheless, he was awesome in this movie. He really seemed threatening. That's how you do it. The funny thing is that also on the poster is the rapper Common and he's not in the movie that much. He's only in like two scenes, but the two scenes he was in were pretty cool. I'm just saying the only reason he's on the poster is for marketing purposes. So as this movie is going along, there are some sweet action scenes. I'll touch on those later. The father-son bonding that's going on, I felt sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. There were a couple of cheesy parts, but not enough for me to stop liking the movie. Liam Neeson's son in the movie, played by Joel Kinnaman. He was one of the characters that it took a while for me to care about because he's got family problems of his own and it almost makes the movie a little convoluted, but not that much. But once I started getting into it, I was never out. The action scenes in this movie were great and they would have been awesome if it weren't for one thing. Shaky cam. Not every action scene in this movie movie had shaky cam, but the ones that did really disappointed me. For example, there's a sweet car chase in this movie, right? I love me a good car chase. This one was good, but I can't quite push it up to great because of all the shaky cam in it. It let me down. But aside from the shaky cam, the action in this movie was pretty sweet. It was choreographed beautifully and the suspense is right up there. This is one of those action movies that's gonna have you biting your nails in anticipation. What the hell is going to happen? Plus, this movie also had a little humor in it. Obviously, this movie's not a comedy or anything, but there were a few lines that had me and the audience laughing out loud. The movie really knows what it is, so it kind of played off of that and it did it with flying colors. The only real problem I have with this movie is the cinematography, especially the transitions. When it goes from scene to scene, it'll like zoom way out of the city and then zoom way back into another spot where the next scene takes place. It was like Google Earth. It gave me a headache and it happened quite a few times in this movie. I guess it's a matter of preference, but I don't prefer it. Points for originality though. So I liked Run All Night a lot more than I liked Cinderella, which is weird because I thought it was going to be the other way around. I liked the action. I like the story, I like Liam Neeson, and I like the overall vibe of this movie. So I will say, go see this movie while it's in theaters. Seriously. So run all night. Have you seen it and what did you think about it? Whatever you thought, go ahead and leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe.